Eleven Labs is insane how they keep making strides towards innovation. I will pass it to Dex for more on Eleven Labs, but before that, please like and subscribe to this young man's channel. Thank you, Barack Obama. By the way, that wasn't Obama. That was actually an Eleven Labs AI audio edit, which I used Obama's voice to make that. But that's besides that. Eleven Labs is the underlying technology that is used to make this, and it's incredible right now. They also came out with a voice design kit that helps you design different voices based off age, gender, and whatever you may like. But what's even more impressive is that now the voices that they rolled out with the design where you can customize these voices, they made a freaking library of it. So now you can go and just kind of pick and choose what kind of voices you really want. Voices that you have in the library. So you see right here, this is the 11 Labs voice library. And here it has the gender, the age, and the accent, as well as like a bar to sort different things like trending, latest, most users, and most characters generated. And so I'm just wanting to see what, what's in the trending without any defaults. So right now you just have like this one as Bruce, Deep American Narrator. To exist is to change, to change is to mature, to mature is to go on creating oneself endlessly. That would be like a good narrator. Like think about a batman movie right and then the narrator of that i think that would be a good one and the good thing about the voice library is that they're all free for commercial use so you can use any of these voices whenever you want to um and they're free as far as the licenses you still have to pay for the actual voices themselves through 11 labs and their character selection and everything but you can use these voice when however you want to after you pay for them now another one it says wayne let's take a listen you can't blame gravity for falling in love. That's not too bad. They even have voices in other languages and with different accents. This one is Indian male young. I must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. And the fact that that's still in English, but he had an Indian accent. Like that is crazy. And this is all AI generated. What about this deep British one? If you surrender to the wind, you can ride it. I feel like I definitely heard one of those one of these voices in like some of those old audio books when I was a kid. That sounds like a very popular one. Aaron trending hot. Let's see. If you don't know where you are going, you will probably end up somewhere else. That a little that sounds good for sure, but that does sound a little bit like AI generated compared to the other ones for sure. The Indian one was actually pretty on point. What about this one? Kindness is more important than wisdom, and the recognition of this is the beginning of wisdom. I really like Myra. Myra, you know, that's the first female character and it is young, but it, it definitely sounds very professional and on point. I think it's definitely hard to, to get some of these characters in here, but that one was actually pretty good. Indian deep voice. Hmm. I believe that we are fundamentally the same and have the same basic potential. Sounded pretty good to me. <laughs> but now a lot of these voices that you can just go and play with is a teen young girl. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. Wow, that does like a teen young girl. I could see like her being like, I don't know, like 15, 12 ish or whatever. But definitely sounding young, but like maybe like a class president, like somebody who's in debate team or something. Very articulate, I definitely would say. Male older voice, fairly deepless. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. Yeah, it definitely sounds like one of those voices you hear as a kid that's like playing on their their lawn or something and they're telling you to get off. But no, these, this is it. Deep and sexy. Okay, Gabriella. Let's take a listen. I got to listen to this one. Be here now. Be someplace else later. Is that so complicated? Hmm. I don't know what was sexy about it, but I mean, it's definitely like a female voice actor. And I think it actually sounds pretty good. Let's Be here again. now. Be someplace else later. Is that so complicated? And it's so amazing to hear the, the different vocal inflections and the tonality that are using to even emphasize certain things. It's not just like monotone across the board. It sounds like a person who's going through normal ranges of life and emotion and actually speaking. And so I'm gonna play with some of these other ones too. Like let's, let's do like the male. Well, we already did all the gender ones. So let's try, let's see the age. Let's see more old. I think we've seen some young ones. Let's see some old ones. Wayne. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. Okay, we, we did hear Wayne before. Let's go down to old men of the desert. Okay. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. Okay, British. British male again. The years teach much which the days never know. The beginning of knowledge is the discovery of something we do not understand. 
Yeah, these definitely sound like some professors I definitely had in college. <laughs> now let's try some of the accents. I think we've seen the British, American, let's see African. When we seek to discover the best in others, we somehow bring out the best in ourselves. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I'm not sure if that's African or not, but it actually sounds like really, really good. <laughs> but African may be a little stretch. Let's see Oscar. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I really like that. I mean, it gives me, you know, Simba from Lion King type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? It really is. Let me see about uh, a coal. The eye sees only what the mind is prepared to comprehend. These three voices up here, they can like narrate my whole entire life, man. That sounds pretty good. So I think we've seen the British one as well as let me, let me do Australian. I think we haven't seen Australian yet. Let me see. The biggest room in the world is room for improvement. Okay, okay. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. I don't know if these... That's not Australian. Brad, listen. I have probably like a small sample of what Australian people sound like. I'm not sure they sound Australian or not. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I don't know, man. The other one sounded pretty good. Just trust yourselves. They're not bad for sure. Like they do sound like voices, but I'm not sure if you would get Australian from there, you know. Um, but I could be stereotyping how an Australian sounds. Like a voice is a voice at the end of the day. Like even the Indian voices, like you know, if you're American, you're British, you're British or whatever. So a voice can sound like whatever. But like that's not what I think of when I sound or when I think of Australian. But okay, I was trending. And so let me just go back to just accent, I guess. So that's no default. And let me go to what latest. So this is order BBC. Uh, Whoso loves believes the impossible. Okay, okay. So I can see that as like a BBC narrator from like the news network or something. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure. It just means you haven't succeeded yet. A narrator with buttery, smooth, deep voice. Let's hear that. It's like some Obama action. Let's see. We lost because we told ourselves we lost. Dang, man. <laughs> That's a, that's a coach that's a coach pep talk right there for real that's, as soon as you lose the game you need that coach in the, in the back telling you like yeah man you lost but you lost because you lost to yourself not to the team you know one of those type of pep talks to keep you going but he definitely make you run a lapse <laughs> next time so that was some of the latest and it seemed like there's a lot more um just mixed so i guess from the from the user groups so like 12 two people two users i like use this one one user use this one, but I guess that's the number of characters generated from this. So like I said, you can also add this to the voice library or to your voice lab to use for yourself. So of course there's like users, like how many users? So this one, the, the Raspberry Deep British one. If you surrender to the wind, you can ride it. Okay, I have the, the most users at like almost 5,000 users use that one. You know, you see as it keeps on going down, so it's from most to least. And it's the most characters generated same thing so how many people actually like type out the text and everything but i think this is actually pretty cool technology right now and it's just getting better and better like i can see this being this is just the beginning and like they have you know different filters as far as age accent and like uh gender but you know what else can they do you know what i'm saying like they can even add like leadership or maybe like different type of settings as far as oh i want it's like a leadership type of setting maybe i want some more of a calm smooth setting or whatever so i think this is definitely going in, in a great direction it can already do a lot you've seen them use this on like other things i'm not sure if you heard that famous clip with like obi-wan kenobi and they're having like a crazy sidebar luke did i ever tell you about ahsoka tano she was your father's exotic teenage alien apprentice a fine piece of jailbait from a more civilized age she had the tightest body and the perkiest little breasts in the galaxy, barely legal in most systems. Anakin and I used to double team her at the end of every successful campaign during the Clone Wars, and once in a while we'd even have the entire 500 first run a train over her, part of official Jedi training, of course. In um, I think they just use this for a lot of stuff right now, and it's just the beginning for this. And I think that right now, Living Labs is in the forefront. I actually did a video with Facebook's voice box that's actually coming in pretty close to it. And that's gonna be open source too, which I don't think 11 Labs is gonna be open source, which makes it a pretty good competitor for something like this. But I wanna see what you think more about this. Do you like this? Is this something that you will use in some of your YouTube videos? Or are you saying like, ah, oh, this is creepy, I don't wanna touch it. Either way, let me know. I think that was it for me. With that being said, your boy Dex, not Dexter.
out.